Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can manage your Access objects. So on the left hand side of the screen, you have the navigation pane, which shows you all your objects. And this setting at the moment is to show all the objects. I've got tables, queries, forms, reports, and macros. This little down arrow gives you some functionality. For example, if I click on table and related views, it will then sort these out in that order. You can see it's slightly different. And you've got different options here. Click on courses, anything that's to do with table courses, schools, so you've got forms, reports, etc. So it's, if you're looking through a database, you can quickly see if anything is attached to these different objects. Object type gives you all of those. And if I select all access objects, that's what that is. So you've got the option to filter it basically by each object or related, like I've showed you. So I've put that onto all tables, tables, and then you've got all these different things. In addition to that, if you right click on this arrow, you can go and sort out these different categories, sort by these different categories, and view by these. You've also got navigation options where you can actually create your own structure for this, which is what I want to do and which is the purpose of this video. So I'm going into navigation options, and then you get the different options that are already there so object type and then custom what I want to do is add an item and I'll give it a name I'll call it um, students and then basically what you do is add a group to that so I've got students students as a group I've got a school as a group and I've got courses as a group. Courses as a group. Now, if I click on it, I don't need that, but I can keep that. I just take it off. Um, it's there just in case you don't allocate anything. I suppose I should keep it on because you don't necessarily allocate everything, a single thing. So that's just loose things at the bottom. So that's going to be called students. And then if I click OK to that, that will then appear in this drop down list, students. And then it's a case of me allocating these objects into these groups that I've created. So for example, school, we'll go into the school group. And then students would go into the students group. And courses would go into the courses group and then it's a it's a case of moving these queries tables forms and reports into the relevant group so if I put that into students as well and you get the idea put that into the wrong place students you notice you're getting a little shortcut arrow there it's a shortcut to this group so you're not actually changing the location of it or anything it's just still within this database so you just find the things that are relevant for students and push it in there. That query is a student query. That's a school form. And then you just do this, you just populate. So that would be uncategorized, main, men, main menu. So I'll go into students there. And then school, that's school. So I've dropped that short. So these might not be actually related. So one of the options you've got there is related school, student school. And then you just go through this and put them wherever you want. Okay, so I've moved them all into the relevant bits and I've noticed that I've got all these unassigned objects, which is basically the archive process. Main menu is gonna remain unassigned. So I need to go back into this, navigation options, 
click on student, add an archive group, archive, OK to that, and then I get the archive group here and there, and then all of these, instead of being unassigned, can go into the archive group, like so. And then only the main menu is left in unassigned objects. And then you've got all these collapsible arrows if you want to bring this down, keep it nice and tidy, like so. And then open main menu. And this should then be a, a tool to navigate between all of these. But if you then need to come in and look at what you've created, um, a query that's to do with the school, you can just go straight into the school area like so. And that's all the stuff that's to do with the school. And if you put things in there that is to do with the school, down the line, if you need to make amendments, there you go, straight into that. So that was just a very quick video of how you can organise, manage your access objects in this navigation area, creating your own groups. So hopefully this video was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.